Here are 10 foods you should never, ever feed your dogs. Stick around and I'm gonna list them all for you. If you're like me, you probably wanna share all of your delicious people food with your puppy. After all, who can resist those puppy dog eyes begging you for a morsel of something yummy? But hold off on spoiling your dog. Sometimes being a good doggy parent is knowing when to say no. Some foods are just downright bad for dogs and can cause all sorts of health problems. Even if your dog has eaten these foods in the past with no problems, they could be causing serious issues that you might not be aware of. Here are a few foods you should never feed your dog. At the top of the list of bad foods for dogs, it's the one you've probably heard of most often, chocolate. Theobromine isn't harmful to humans, but it's the toxic part of chocolate for dogs. It's found in all kinds of chocolate, but especially in dark chocolate and baking chocolate. It can cause a dog to vomit, have diarrhea, and become overly thirsty. But on the most extreme side, it can cause abdominal heart rhythmias, seizures, tumors, or death. Guys, save the sweets for yourself and your family. Next up on the list is bacon and fatty meat. And you say, wait, your dog can't have bacon? And I say, that's right. High fat foods like bacon, ham, or meat trimmings can cause pancreatitis in dogs. And since these meats are often high in salt content and in extreme cases, can cause dogs to drink too much water, leading to bloat, which can be fatal to our fur puppies. Save the fatty meats for yourself and stick to leaner choices for your dogs, everybody. You may have heard that popcorn and pretzels are bad for dogs, but that's usually only the case if those foods are salted. Salt can cause a condition called sodium ion poisoning, not to mention excessive thirst or urination. Symptoms of eating too much salt might include vomiting, diarrhea, high body temperature, and seizures. In addition to bloat, as in the case with bacon, salt can be fatal. So keep it to a minimum in the food you share with your fur babies and all of your puppies. Garlic and onions. This one-two combo of foods doesn't just give you dragon breath and repel vampires. These pugnant ingredients are bad news for dogs, period. This is a tricky one because a small dose might not do much harm, but in a large dose or regular small doses, can lead to poisoning symptoms, which include weakness, vomiting, breathlessness, and a loss of interest in food or eating. Keep the bad breath to yourself, guys. No garlic, no onions. Milk, cheese, ice cream, and other dairy products. You may have slipped your dog a pill in a piece of cheese, but dogs aren't really built to process cow milk products. They lack the enzyme to break down milk sugar. And while some dogs are more able to handle dairy than others, many dogs are lactose intolerant. Dairy can cause dogs to vomit, have diarrhea, or develop gastrointestinal diseases. The high fat content and milk products can lead to pancreatitis. As in the case with fatty meats, don't share your dairy with your dog, raw meats, fish, and eggs. This one is a subject of controversy, as many vets are seeing health benefits from their patients switching to raw meat diets, including healthier skin and coats, cleaner teeth, and easier digestion. Some vets recommend cooking raw food to kill off bacteria and parasites that can be harmful to your dogs. The majority of vets and the FDA still discourage feeding raw meat to dogs, and salmonella and E. coli infections do happen in canines. There are risks to a raw diet that you need to weigh against the benefits before you decide to try it. If you're planning to switch to a raw diet for your dog, you need to learn about proper preparation for the food so that the risk of bacterial or parasitic infection can be minimized. Learn about the appropriate amount to feed your dog and take into account your dog's overall health. Research and understand the risks so you can stay informed. If you don't, your dog could get very sick or worse. Candy, gum, peanut butter, and other baked goods. The real culprit when it comes to these sweets is an ingredient called xylitol. 
It causes an insulin surge through your dog's body that can lead to a drop in blood sugar and liver failure. Several of these foods, especially peanut butter, are sometimes made without xylitol. So check the list of ingredients in your foods before you share them with your fur puppy. Grapes and raisins. This is a sneaky case of dangerous foods. Grapes and raisins are known to cause renal failure in dogs. It's best to keep the raisins and the grapes out of the reach of the puppy. Sugary foods. Sugary food isn't good for humans, and it's definitely not good for dogs either. In fact, it can lead to similar problems for dogs as it does for humans. Obesity, dental health issues, and diabetes can all result from overeating foods that have high sugar content in them. Don't feed your dog sugar, and we should all probably consider cutting back on sugar ourselves as well. Avocado. Much of the controversy around avocados when it comes to dogs revolves around person, a substance avocados contain in their leaves, seeds, bark, and fruit. Parison can be toxic in high doses. So what's the problem with avocados? If you have an avocado plant in your house or in your yard, your dog may overindulge in unripened fruit. If you have an avocado tree, as many people do in certain parts of the United States and elsewhere, make sure your puppy can't get anywhere near it or to the fruit that falls to the ground. Wow, that's a lot of information for your dog. Don't let your dog anywhere near these products as they are toxic and can lead to potential poisoning, choking, gastrointestinal issues, and possibly death. Stick to a diet approved by your vet or research some healthy foods that you can share with your dog. Resist that cute face and keep most of your human food to yourself. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of our videos. Stay tuned, I've got another fast fact video coming right up.